Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Miss you so, so much, beloved church family. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. He's the only one good. Praise God. I am so excited. Saturday night worship service. I'll tell you right now, this is one of the very few that please, in, in every worship service, keep it lifted up in prayer. Praise God, because working, working on it and just in worship and just asking Holy Spirit for his wisdom and just talking to God. And I thought this was Sunday morning worship service. Amen. And uh, so, as you know, say it with me. It's in his time. Amen. Say that again with me. It's in his time. God is the Alpha and the Omega. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He holds time in his hand. Amen. And praise God, no one can snatch us out of the palm of Lord Jesus Christ's hand. Amen. So, having said that, I'm just so excited as far as what God has in store for us in every worship service. Amen. Because it's all Holy Spirit has nothing to do with whoever's preaching. Can again, amen, we're just a mouthpiece, and by the grace of God, of course, being accountable as a child of God, listen, I know who I'm talking to, that as a child of God, as a beloved child of God, you are held accountable to worship Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and to continuously renew and re repent, renewing your mind in focus in Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And it's in this anointing, say that with me, anointing, it's in this anointing through Holy Spirit that we have the ability to just trust, worship, praise God Almighty for what he has done through Lord Jesus Christ, and allow, say that with me, allow, to allow Holy Spirit to flow, amen? And glory to God, I'm just so excited as far as with the word that Holy Spirit's gonna bring tonight and once again, as far as what he's doing already, because he's in our tomorrow, amen? We're covered by the blood of God. Hallelujah. Say it with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, hallelujah. There is no name greater than the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. And Lord Jesus, in his mercy, blessed us with his name. Can again, amen, beloved church? That's why it's only in his name. It's only through the perfect sacrifice of God that we have this God-purchased identity. Hallelujah, I am recovered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? So I'm just so thankful as far as what the Holy Spirit has for us tonight, praise God. Once again, I thought it was gonna be for Sunday morning, and hallelujah, hallelujah, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder, amen? So pray for me, pray with me, hallelujah. I Listen, even though this is recorded, we record because for now, this is the wisdom and the anointing Holy Spirit give us to put this on YouTube, and for many of us who don't have Facebook or don't do social media, at least this is a way that, praise God, we can worship. We are one body in Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Unified through the peace, the gospel of peace. Hallelujah, who is peace, who is grace? Many of you beat me to it already. Holy Spirit, amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you so much, Lord Jesus that it's all because of you that we have a relationship with Father God. And it's only through you that, Lord Jesus Christ, you would bless us with your anointing, with your presence, with your spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, in complete reverence to you in every worship service, Father, may I boldly declare, Father God, that in everything that we do, Father, that we strive to give you all the glory, honor, praise. We want none of it, Father. You are the only one worthy, Lord Jesus Christ. I am not worthy to stand here, to be here. I am not, Father. And I am thankful that you saved me through your perfect, beloved, perfect Lamb of God, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, I just thank you that as the perfect Lamb of God, that because of you, because of who you are, God is our Father. So Holy Spirit, teach us. You are the only teacher. And I thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for rebuking my pride. Don't let anything come out of my mouth, Father, that is not of you. Father God, speak through us. Father, speak through us, Father. Live abundantly through us. And we say this, Father God, through our living word in Christ Jesus, through the anointing power of your Holy Spirit, and all God's beloved said, 
Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Give an angel a high five. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Or if you're like me, physically, physically, right, just by yourself, just give yourself a high five. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. So we're going to be in two books today. We're going to be in Romans 10, 17, and we're also going to be in 1 Samuel 17. Notice that I put 10, verse 10 there. I don't know where we're going to stop. Uh, I, I really don't know. However, I just know that we're going to spend a lot of time in 1 Samuel 17. Now remember, beloved church family, for those of you who know and for those of you who are just, you know, um, coming along or, you know, may, maybe you haven't been in our worship services in person and you started watching on YouTube, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Welcome home. Hallelujah. We love to say that here. I cannot wait. We're in this new season now and when we come together under one roof and fellowship, oh, just loving on each other, just allowing God's presence to overflow. Amen. Don't you know that God loves to be blessed that way? Amen. When you reach out to another soul, regardless of where they're at with the Lord, but just allowing his light, say it with me, agape, amen. Just allowing his light to shine through you in being that one that just lights up the room, amen. And we don't say that out of pride or arrogance or boasting on, on, on anything other than just lifting up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Say it with me. God needs me. Hallelujah. God needs you. Beloved church family, God needs you. Listen. Listen, Holy Spirit, just charge me right now to say this. Listen, I'm sorry that religion hurt you. I'm sorry that other people hurt you. I'm sorry that, you know, whatever it is, I'm sorry that a Christian hurt you. I'm sorry. But please understand, that is the enemy's deception to try to draw a wedge in your relationship with Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Agree with me today. Today's the day. Agree with me today. Today's the day. Say that with me. Today's the day. Hallelujah. Today's the day for a fresh anointing. And Lord Jesus Christ, speaking to those that you have charged us with, Father, that, that unfortunately got hurt, Father God, that the enemy stole, killed, destroyed something in their life, Father. Today's the day that complete restoration falls on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. You received that today? Oh, I received that. Praise God. Praise God. Remember, we're not the enemy. There's an enemy, and he is the devil. Can you get an amen? There's an enemy, and he's the devil. So what God wants to talk about, as you can see on this graphic, do you hear what I hear? Question mark. Can you say that with me? Do you hear what I hear? Question mark. And praise the Lord. Let's just get right into this. Amen. Are you excited? Hallelujah. Say amen with me. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank God that you just joined together. Amen. God knows. God knows that you're watching a brother just worship like you are right now. And God knows when you just join in agreement. Hallelujah. God, you are a good and perfect father. You gave me Lord Jesus Christ. I have your blood that covers me for all of eternity. I am sealed by your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are my God, and I bless your anointing. Change me, O oh Lord. Whoa, hallelujah, get ready. Get ready, praise God. You hear the knock on the door? Get ready. You why? It's a blessing, amen? Because last time I checked, when you bless Lord Jesus Christ, when you just pour everything out, his presence, say that with me, his presence blesses beyond comprehension amen beyond anything that we can ask for a amen just just having God's presence in your life amen don't we all just need God's presence just overflowing continuously amen I receive it in Jesus name father change me father I, I pray that I don't get get through this worship service I pray that the that the trumpet goes off and whoo once you hear it, we're just gone amen hallelujah I'm just so excited church all right, praise God. I pray that you prayed for me. Hallelujah. We got a lot to cover, so let's go, okay? Amen. You ready? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Rejoice. Hallelujah. There was no warning in that one. Amen. Rejoice. Oh, my goodness. We are not going to hell. We live for eternity. Amen. This is, this, this I don't care how old you are. Pray, I don't care how old you are. This ain't nothing, the word of God says, but a vapor. So regardless how old you are, this is all a vapor. But we live life, glory to God, on that glorious day when you see Lord Jesus face to face. Amen? 
What a glorious day that will be, amen? I talk to a lot, of course, to our brothers and sisters here at Open Arms Community Church. And praise God, so many of us say, I don't know how long I'll be at his feet. I mean, amen? And isn't it a beautiful picture? Glory to God, because we're already there. We're already there, worshiping our Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Whew, praise God, say that for another day, amen? Say it with me, do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? Holy Spirit teaches, you're the only teacher, hallelujah. Do you hear what I hear? Let's start. This is the foundational scripture for our worship service tonight. So then faith, notice our little PowerPoint symbol that comes up. Praise God, I love that PowerPoint symbol of open arms, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, give us that symbol as the power button and the, thumb, the thumbprint or the fingerprint of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? It's funny, that's in my head right now because somebody asked me, which finger? It don't matter, it's God's hand. It doesn't matter, whatever finger you want, but it's the fingerprint of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Glory to God, and that is a PowerPoint. And this is what we're gonna be spending time in as we build on, as Holy Spirit teaches us through his anointing, as far as just the magnitude of just this one verse, amen? Once again, Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen? Pretty simple, praise God. So we're going to get into this. As you saw on that graphic, it was the picture of David and Goliath. And now, praise God, everybody knows this story. And I'm going to beg you. And yes, I have to beg you. Because the way pride works and the way religion works is when you listen to a sermon or you're sitting, you're anticipating rather than just being in it, being in worship, amen? So I challenge you to just erase everything that you know. Because remember, this is the only moment that matters right now. What is this moment? I'm worshiping you, Lord Jesus Christ, and in your holy presence, I'm allowing you, Holy Spirit, say his name. Holy Spirit, teach me. Holy Spirit, bless me. Holy Spirit, flood me, amen? And glory to God, watch what Holy Spirit will do in this worship service, amen? So all this is taking place, and we start in verse 10, because there's so much that goes on. I encourage you, I charge you, maybe tonight, maybe, maybe this week, revisit 1 Samuel 17. And I ask you to revisit, but just read everything in depth, you know, all through the leading of Holy Spirit, and watch what God will show you, because there's just so much that we're going to go over, and I just ask you to just do that, and allow Holy Spirit, amen, because he's our only teacher, to just flood you. Not just flood you with revelation amen like oh my goodness but it's in that oh my goodness right when you're blessing god and just thanking him and in the written word and holy spirit's teaching you it's in that oh my goodness where there's life-changing revelation well, what's the difference pastor joey the difference is is that you can have revelation all you want you can have revelation all you want but until it produces fruit amen don't you love just all these gestures? Holy Spirit done taught us, amen? Holy Spirit done taught us, amen? In the Holy of Holies, in the soul, right? In the soul, and what manifests in the body, amen? And how you produce fruit, and how you speak the seeds of God, amen? The seeds of agape, amen? So let's get into this, because here we go. We're going to start off, unfortunately, with the worser. This is what Goliath said. This day... I defy the armies of Israel, give me a man, and let us fight each other. On hearing the Philistines' word, on hearing what they all had to say, on hearing and seeing Goliath, right? Check this out. Saul and all the Israelites, say it with me, brothers and sisters, amen? Saul and all the Israelites were dismayed and terrified. Whew. So you have Goliath, right? And you have their army coming out, cursing God, cursing Israel, cursing us, cursing us, right? Because we are all one in Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And notice what happened. They heard the threats. They heard it, right? And what happened? They got dismayed and terrified. Verse 16, for 40 days the Philistine came forward every morning and evening and took his stand now i need to pause here because many of you know it's been 40 days since i seen some of you actually since we since we had worship service 
here in Open Arms Community Church in the building. Amen. Listen, I know who I'm talking to. We worship God every moment of every day. Hallelujah. We don't say that pridefully. We just say it because he is our God, our Savior, and we are consumed in just thanking him. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. There's no gooder way to live than to thank Lord Jesus Christ in every, every opportunity you get. Hallelujah. There's no idle time. Say that with me. No idle time. Amen. You know what idle time is? Look at that. What's going on there? What? Can you believe? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. That's idle time, which leads to idle talk, which idle talk is speaking curses. Amen. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. So for 40 days, the impact of this message just blesses my socks off because Holy Spirit says, I want to bring this word because for 40 days now, this thing that has been, that has been trying to float around and, and, and say things, huh? Right? Even though you can't see it and there is no voice, but guess what? It is saying things and it's putting fear and making the church dismayed. Come on now, family. And how is that? How is that? Well, unfortunately, for those without Holy Spirit, right now at this time, amen, April 2020, right now at this time, unfortunately, those who don't have the anointing of Holy Spirit yet is consumed by the thoughts and the fear of the world based on what they're hearing and seeing. Amen? Listen, I, I've upset a lot of people, and, um, you know, glory be to God. Amen? I'm, I'm, I'm not here trying to... To, to win a popularity contest, I, I can care less. I rebuke myself. I, it's all about Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? But when people start t telling me and asking me for help about things, and right away I just know that they're constantly doing this on their phone, or they're speaking death, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, I'm going to tell you, put it away. Get rid of it. Get a flip phone. I hear that a lot, but I still need to contact, get a flip phone, right? But see, people don't want to hear this, because why? We are conditioned through pride to want things our way, right? It's Burger King, right? My way all the time, whatever it is, right? It's Burger King. But last time I checked, we serve the King of Kings, amen? Can I get a hallelujah? Glory to God, hallelujah. Give God praise, amen? We serve the King of Kings, Lord Jesus Christ, and Lord Jesus Christ showed us the way, amen? And so listen now, family, because this thing has been floating around, right, for more than, of course, 40 days. But I'm talking about the impact as far as for Open Arms Community Church. Can I get an amen? Glory to God. You see, Holy Spirit did not stop his anointing when we stopped meeting physically under a building. No. The expectations of Lord Jesus Christ... The expectations of God the Father when he sent you and sealed you with his Holy Spirit is that through times and seasons of this is that we would actually get more intimate in a relationship with the only living God. Amen? And how do we do that? When we worship and get intimate with Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit shows us continuously, not just through his written word, but through, of course, sermons from, from your pastor, amen, from evangelists, whatever, that Holy Spirit will teach you and tell you that, listen, we need to make this adjustment. Amen? We need to make this adjustment. We need to make this change. Amen? You see, this is a, this is a, a, a really good example as far as how this Philistine for 40 days, every day, would go out, say the same things, and how it was taking root into people's heart. Is that not the condition that we are in right now, beloved church family? Huh? With all the chaos, with all this uh, tribulation, with, with all this stuff, right? Trials. The enemy's hoping that you take in what the enemy is saying and not what God is saying. Let's get into it. Praise God. As he was talking with him, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, stepped out from his lines. Say when he stepped out. See, the enemy's hoping to do that with you and me, that he could step out into where only Holy Spirit is. Amen? You ever, have, you, you, ever have, you ever have somebody say, listen, this is my personal space, right? 
I, I don't have that, but I'm just saying there, there's, there, you know, and I don't judge nobody. I just laugh because it, it's funny because, you know, when you see somebody go, listen, this is my personal space. You, you're, you're intruding my personal space, right? Well, guess what? That's the enemy. The enemy wants to intrude into your personal space, right? But see, what makes this personal is Holy Spirit. See, when you worship God Almighty and you're intimate with him, Holy Spirit's anointing, say that with me, anointing, hallelujah, his presence guards you and protects you. And his light shines through you. And guess what? The enemy's like, I need to pass over. I, I need to be far, far away from this beloved child of God. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Praise God. So listen, Goliath stepped out from his lines, once again shouted his usual defiance. Say this with me, but God. Hallelujah. But God. And we'll put this little PowerPoint right there. If you're taking notes at home, I encourage you to take this note. David heard it. Can I say that again? David heard it. Glory to God. What a but God moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you are saying, man, Brother Joey, why are you so excited? Listen. Listen. This enemy, Satan himself, the devil. Come on now, coronavirus, the devil wants to keep throwing out his threats, wants to keep, you know, right? He wants to just keep on intruding, right? But God, say that with me, but God. You know why? You are the but God, hallelujah. You are the beloved child of God. You are the but God, amen? Listen to this, so David heard it. This is what I want to cover again, because once again, this is the foundation of this message that Holy Spirit wanted to bring for this glorious day. Can I get a hallelujah? Oh, change me, O oh Lord. Say it with me. Change me, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father God. So then faith, there's our PowerPoint, cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen? Listen, I know many of you said, Brother Joe, you just so showed that earlier on a red screen. Why is it blue screen now? And what's up with the capital letters? Let me finish. Hallelujah. As he was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, stepped out from his lines and shouted his usual defiance. Amen? And David heard it. Once again, we're in 1 Samuel 17, verse 23. Okay? Let's jump over to 26. David asked, listen to this relationship and how the Holy Spirit, his, his anointing just flows and how he blesses us with power on high. Amen. Hallelujah. Say with me, I plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nothing can come against the blood of God. Amen. So David asked the man standing near him, check this out. What will be done for the man who kills the Philistine and removes this disgrace from Israel? So notice that he don't give Goliath, his name, he just calls him this Philistine. And then he says, removes this disgrace, right? He, he is calling out this thing that is an abomination. He's calling out this thing that is a sin. He's calling out this thing for what it is. It has to submit to my God, amen? He's calling it out. Now listen to this. Who is this uncircumcised? Philistine. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Now, isn't that, isn't that so awesome about Brother David? Amen. That here he is, the Word of God says, young, handsome, praise God. You know you're handsome when the Word of God says you're handsome. Hallelujah. And here he is just showing up to the scene. Everybody knows, right? Everybody knows what's going on. Can I get an amen, church? Help me. Help me. Right? Everybody knows, but yet he asks these questions, right? He purposely asks these questions. Why do I know? It's in the written word of God, amen? And there's a reason why it's in the written word of God, because Holy Spirit right now is teaching us, amen, how to overcome and live an abundant life. Hallelujah. So he asks again, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? That he should defy the armies of the living God. Point number one, if you're taking points. Amen. Don't give name or ownership 
to things that are not of God. Amen? Don't speak curses over yourself. Now listen, beloved church family, I know we all got issues. Hallelujah. There's only one perfect one. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's whenever when we get deep into worship, into the anointing of God, when a preacher would preach this through the anointing of Holy Spirit, that some of you will get, oh, don't tell me how to live. Don't tell me how to do it. Listen, stop that. Stop it. I'm not telling you anything other than Jesus Christ is Lord, hallelujah, and Holy Spirit lives on the inside because we serve a good and perfect Father. Amen? Amen? Remember, I'm not the enemy now, but I'm just, I'm just making you aware and exposing through agape, exposing this devil, that this devil wants you to claim your Goliath in your life. The devil wants you to claim Goliath and give him a name. Put a leash on it. Start walking it. May I tell you right now that sin will take you further than you ever want to go. Cost you more than you'll ever have. Amen? And take up time that, guess what? We don't got. That's the bottom line. And the enemy's hoping that you name it and claim it, right, with these curses. And look at David. David's like, who is this? He knows. He heard. Amen? But glory to God, he's like, uncircumcised Philistine, demon, devil, how dare you speak against my God? How dare you try to have a voice? Amen? Oh, let's get more and more into it. It gets gooder and gooder. Verse 27. They repeated, once again, they repeated. This is the army now, the Israelites, speaking to young David. They repeated and say, this is what they've been saying. Told them, this is what will be done for the man who kills him. Now we're getting, you notice this in the green. Say that with me, the man. Hallelujah. Who is the man? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ, amen. He is the man. Hallelujah. Of course, we're going back into time before Lord Jesus Christ come, and Lord Jesus was just speaking the word over Brother David. The man at that moment, David just had to hear it. Hallelujah. Notice the difference as far as faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Listen, church family, let's wake up. There is a devil in this world. His name is Satan and he is the God of this world. Lowercase g. But we serve the one only true living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> Give God praise. Amen. And he is the father of our Lord Jesus Christ who sacrificed everything for you and me. So that we can live in worship, in peace, through his anointing and Holy Spirit. Amen? In verse 28, when Eliab, oh, now check this out. Hallelujah. Now Eliab is David's big brother now, the oldest, right? Eliab heard. And he heard, he heard David speaking to the Israelites, and he heard the conversation. Check this out now. He burned with anger at him and asked, Why have you come down here? And with whom did you leave those few sheep in the wilderness? I know how conceited you are and how wicked your heart is. You come down only to watch the battle. So there's two points of this anointing the Holy Spirit wants to teach. Hallelujah. We touched on David. First, we touched on the Israelites and how they heard the word from Goliath, from the, from the Philistines, right? How they heard the word and they, began, they, they, they just got terrified, dismayed, right? I mean, they just got consumed with fear and anxiety, worry, gas, depression, whatever you want. They got consumed with crunchiness, right? So the Israelites heard this word. But here comes David. Amen. Say it with me, but God. But God. God shows up to the scene, hears what's being said, and here David is. Let's just have a conversation. But the glory of God is, is that David, knowing who God is, hallelujah, rested. Say that word with me. Rested in his identity as a beloved of God. Why? Because it was all those moments... All those moments in worship, when he was by himself, 
when he was with God's creatures, with the sheep, and just thanking God, oh, Father, thank you for such a beautiful day. Father, thank you so much. Thank you, Father, for your creatures. Thank you, Father, for all this sheep that you have blessed us with. You know what, Father, thank you. Yesterday, oh, my good, yesterday, that bear almost got it. But thank you, Father God, that not only did you protect me, but I killed that bear. Oh, Father, remember last week, that lion? I just want to say thank you. I know it was last week, but Father God, I just want to say thank you. See, moments like this in the anointing of Holy Spirit, God is asking us, will you look back in how my glory saved you? If you notice, ever since this whole chaos started with this, with this Goliath, this coronavirus trying to, right, trying to speak a word, right? God says, go back to the day that you called on me. Hallelujah. Go back to the day when you were on fire for me. Amen. Go back to the day when you wanted everybody to know Jesus. Can I get a hallelujah? And guess what? We are back. Amen. Say it with me. I'm back. Say it to God, not me. Say, Father God, I am back. Hallelujah. The beauty of our God and his mercy and his grace, all because of the, the righteous one, the holy one, Lord Jesus Christ. He never left us. Amen. He, never, he will never leave us or forsake us. Listen, we may have gone a, a road, but his mercy, his grace protected us. Amen. And look at what's happening here. Now Eliab, right? We covered the Israelites hearing the word from Goliath. They got terrified, right? We heard, we heard and we saw David, right? David hears what's going on, has a conversation. Now he's talking to them. And then they said, well, the man, hallelujah, the man who can take care of this business, I'll tell you right now, it's God's business. God's going to bless them, right? And what does that do to a man, a woman of God? What does that do when you hear agape spoken? Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah, right? Holy Spirit. Remember, Holy Spirit, right? Holy Spirit's everywhere. Amen? He is our God. And glory to God when you speak in faith and you hear this. Okay. Amen? Okay. Praise God. Say with me. Okay. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Father. I laugh, <laughs> beloved church, friend, I laugh because Trish and I, we do this at home umpteen times a day. And God said I could share it with you. <laughs> Say, okay, okay, okay. Right? Okay, okay, okay. And the funny thing is, is that when I say it or when Trish says it, just around the house or whatever, in the car, okay, 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 the response is going to be blessed today. Amen. Say that with me, going to be blessed today. Hallelujah. How many of you received that? Amen. That despite what this world is going through, despite anything, despite what the medical reports say, despite what your, your bank account looks like, despite how your children are acting, despite what the marriage is looking like, can you agree with me that going to be blessed today? Why? Because Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the Holy One paid for it. And God wants you blessed. Amen. God wants his church blessed in the overflow. You know why? Mm, agape. Amen. God wants to show his light through you. Hallelujah. So, of course, Eliab, the oldest brother, gets this word because he hears. And you could just see how crunchy he got, right? The word says it. He burned with anger at him. Burned with anger. Last time I checked, when you're burned with anger, you look like this. Right? You just get so mad, right? Right? Clutch your pearls, right? Right? This is Eliab. He clutches pearls like, what are you doing here? We're, the word of God right now is blessing us with this wisdom. That if you depend on other people, if you depend on family, if you depend on whoever, if you depend on any man or woman, job, I don't care, whatever it is. If you depend on that more than God, the enemy will try to knock you off your course. And see, Eliab is familiar with David because guess what? David's a shepherd boy, my brother, my young brother. Scrawny, little, oh, he handsome, right? The word, the word of God says so, so you just got to be obedient, right? I don't know, maybe Eliab was jealous too that he's handsome, right? It doesn't say Eliab is handsome. 
anyways, praise God. See, he, he hears this, and then now he starts just beating him down with his words. Why did you come down here? I know you're conceited. Who did you leave the sheep with? The sheep are in the wilderness, right? Just attacking him with things that are in the natural, right? Check this out. Oh, it gets gooder and gooder. Amen. Say it with me, gooder and gooder. Hallelujah. This is what Brother David says. Verse 29, 1 Samuel 17. Now what have I done? And here comes, here, 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 listen to this. Can't I even speak? He then turned away to someone else and brought up the same matter. And the men answered him as before. Once again, here's David. Here's, here's David just, remember, the man after God's own heart. Here's David just having conversations. What David said was overheard and reported to Saul. And Saul sent for him. Amen. So notice that here's David, and the way he rebukes Eliab is he's like, what have I done? Can't I even speak? Can't I even, say that word with me, speak. Now what we got to keep in mind now is that here is a worshiper of God. Say with me, I am a worshiper of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As a worshiper of God, David even knew the power of the words that he spoke. And the anointing in this, just this verse right here, is that David is not only rebuking Eliab and just telling him plainly, what have I done? And then he says, can't I even speak? The magnitude of what brother David says at this very moment into all of Israel to be a witness unto the anointing of God who is in David right now as he says this, is he saying, can I even worship? Say that word with me, worship. And you could feel the power when you say that because the way you speak shows the fruit of your worship. Amen? Oh, it gets gooder and gooder. Hallelujah. Check this out. Verse 32, David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Did he say Goliath? No, you know why? He didn't put name to it. He didn't put name on something that this has nothing to do with me. And when I'm done with it, it's not going to have nothing to do with Israel. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen? Let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant. Let's pause right there. We've covered now for the past couple of years now. In order to get into the anointing of God as a son of God, you have to take on a servant's heart. Amen? Listen, I don't, I don't preach this loosely. I don't preach it out of pride. I'm telling you right now because I know religion likes to preach servanthood to put control on people. This is, rebuke all that. Being a servant means, Lord Jesus Christ, you are my master. You are my God, my Savior, my Lord, my everything. And Lord Jesus Christ, because I belong to you, I choose, I choose to be a prisoner of grace. Holy Spirit, you are my God, and whatever you say, change me, O oh Lord. Change me. You live through me. You live through Joey Karangan. Your anointing lives through Open Arms Community Church. Your holy people. Every worshiper in spirit and truth, Father, that you bless us with, Father God, your anointing through your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, you paid for us all, that Father, you have complete control. Can I get an amen? That is being a servant. And I love this because here's David saying, your servant. Now listen, I know face value, you just see a shepherd boy speaking to a king and saying, your servant. Listen, that's face value, rebuke all that. Holy Spirit is teaching us, amen? When David says to the king, your servant, he is not looking at Saul. He is looking to God Almighty. Can I get an amen? See, we need to snap out of it. Do that with me. Just snap out of, right, being so sensitive, insecure, right? Listen, once again, God knows the hurt you went through. But it's time to snap out of it. It's time to wake up. 
Amen? It's time to wake up. Amen? Because at the end of the day, you're standing before Lord Jesus Christ. Is there really... Come on now, church family. Is there really... Well, I was just mad at that person and I didn't want to forgive him. Really? Well, I was just so mad at my mom or my dad because they did this to me. Really? I'm just so mad because this pastor just said things to me. This church did this to me. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we got to let that go. Can I get an amen? Say it with me, beloved church man. Let that go. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Amen? Okay, okay, okay. Going to be blessed today. Oh, thank you, Father God. Your servant, say with me, I am a servant of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Will go and fight him. This is what Saul has to say now. Now remember, you already heard and seen in the written word and how Holy Spirit is teaching us. David heard what Goliath was saying. David went, talked to the Israelites to hear what they got to say about it. Then David, right? Then David had the encounter with Eliab, and Eliab had a mouthful to say, right? And of course, he rebuked him by saying, what have I done? Can't I even speak, right? Can't I just worship my God? Amen? Because the way I speak, I don't speak like you guys speak. Hallelujah. Amen? And then he says, I will go and fight him. Here comes King Saul now with his comment. You are not able to go out against this Philistine be because you can't fight him. And because you're only a, a young man. You're little. Right? Listen, this message goes out to our youth, to everybody. Say it with me, everybody. Listen, don't allow anyone to say you're not able. Greater is he that is in me, amen, than he that is in this world. Hallelujah. He has been, check this out. So now Saul is speaking now Saul is, King Saul is, is speaking to David and building up Goliath. Listen to that last statement. He has been a warrior from his youth. Here comes Brother David again. Remember, when he's saying your servant, is he saying this to man or is he saying this to God Almighty? The same question Holy Spirit has for us as his beloved church. You say you serve me. You say you're my servant. Let's show God fruit. Amen. How do we show God fruit? Hallelujah. Agape. Worship. Allow Holy Spirit to change us. Amen. Say it with me. Change me, O Lord. Hallelujah. Change me, O Lord. Praise God. Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep when a lion or bear came and carried it off from the flock. I went after it, struck it, and rescued, from, rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant, say with me, I am God's servant, has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defiled the armies of the living God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord who has rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of of this Philistine. Glory to God. Let's just give God praise right there. Amen. Listen to the anointing that King David spoke at this moment of trial and tribulation. At this moment, listen now, for 40 days, it was complete torment and torture, oppression, right? No comforter available, right? Everybody just down, negative, terrified, worried, dismayed. Listen, some of them are like, we're dead. Some of them really, we're just like, we're dead. We're just sitting ducks. We're just waiting. And how easy is it as a child of God that you can look, see, hear, and be a part of that? Say it with me, no more. Say it with me, covered by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, no more. Holy Spirit, have your way with your holy church that your light shines through us like never before. Amen. And so here David is, David's like, I'm going to show you my worship. He's going to show the king, Saul, he's going to show King Saul his worship unto God. What did he do? Faith. Right? Faith. The spirit of faith. He took the sword, even though he physically didn't carry the sword in the battlefield. Amen? 2 Corinthians 4.13, I believe and therefore I speak. 
the spirit of faith. Amen? And what did he do? He spoke it out. He spoke it out. This, this thing is not going to come against me and my, fa my family, my, my house. My father God blessed me with the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. My father God sealed me with the anointing of Holy Spirit. Amen? See, there's some of you right now that Holy Spirit has, has charged you in your heart to get the oil out. Amen? It's the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, right? To anoint yourself. Amen? Anoint your house. Amen? You got a child in, in rebellion or and disobedient, whatever they're doing in the name of Jesus, anoint them. They don't have to know about it. Anoint their, their room, their pillow, where they lay their head at night. Whoa, hallelujah. Glory to God. And, he, and he, here's David saying, he will rescue me. Amen. And check this out. Guess it's gooder and gooder. Amen. The anointing of God flow from David's mouth and the faith that he spoke through agape. Amen. Yes, I said agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You know why? It's from the beginning and end, amen? And glory to God, the anointing of David is that Lord Jesus Christ come from his lineage. But here comes King Saul, and this is what he said to David. Go, and the Lord, say that with me, be with you. Amen? Peace be with you. Say with me, peace is in me. Hallelujah. His name is Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That is a PowerPoint. Praise God. Do you hear what I hear? So this is a comparison between the two. Remember, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. This is the gooder and gooder that David showed. The Holy Spirit showed through the written word and through the life, hallelujah, of Brother David. Through that moment, facing Satan. Amen? And then we covered the Israelites, Eliab, even Saul. Yeah, that's right. I put Romans 10, 17 up there. As well. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Lowercase. All that's lowercase. Amen. See, Holy Spirit wanted to show the living word and the truth behind the living word and how, how faith manifests when you allow it to come into the temple. See, the glory of God through Lord Jesus Christ. Say that with me. Through Lord Jesus Christ. Is that God now resides and dwells within us. Amen? Remember the personal space? Hallelujah. Right? And that's his light. Holy Spirit light. Hallelujah. His angels are all around you. Many of you see, feel it. Praise God. Amen? And the power of his anointing is that as, as he flows around you, as he shines through you. Amen? When you hear things, Holy Spirit is the one that says, no, that's not of me. I rebuke that. But God, say that with me, but God, Holy Spirit will only speak what the Father says. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. And as you listen to this word and you take this word as your own, glory to God, and you allow this word. Listen, sometimes the word cuts deep, but it's in those moments in intimacy with God the Father that you just allow Holy Spirit to just flow. Amen. It's, it's as simple sometimes as just saying, sorry, Father. I'm so sorry. Forgive them. I've, I've held a grudge. I've, had, I've held malice in my heart. And Father, you showed it to me. And I don't want nothing to do with it because it's the devil. I don't want that in pride, Father God. Get rid of it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. He will. Hallelujah. Do you hear what I hear? God spoke. That's just the scripture of Romans 10, 17 that's up there. God spoke. You know how he spoke. Amen. And this is God's only word. Say his name with me. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God heard. And who heard? Say his name with me. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Amen. Faith in me. Say that with me. Faith in me. Faith in me. And that's what Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated when he left heaven to come to this earth. And we know it. We say it all the time. Say it with me. Hallelujah, agape. Amen. Agape. Praise God. And this is, do you hear what I hear? Glory to God. I am so thankful that you joined us tonight in this worship service. Praise God. I miss Saturday night worship service. Hallelujah. Uh, b before the enemy uh, stole, killed, and destroyed from all this garbage that we rebuke in Jesus' name, we were starting to have a really good attendance on Saturday night. And I'm just even more excited now. We don't do it for attendance, right? But I'm just excited now as far as for a greater harvest that Lord Jesus Christ is bringing in. Amen. I love you so much, church family. 
Miss you guys. Miss you guys. Miss you guys. I'm just so thankful for you all. Praise God. Listen, let's just put into action as far as what Holy Spirit taught us. Amen. That faith does come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. But listen, listen, if we do not worship Lord Jesus Christ and get intimate with God and allow Holy Spirit to continuously sanctify the temple. Amen. Meaning that his presence is always flooding us, flowing through us. It's easy to hear something. It's easy to hear something. And guess what? Put faith in it. And then it starts to build worry. It starts to build fear. And I'm going to tell you right now, that has nothing to do with God Almighty. That has nothing to do. Amen. So let's rebuke that right now in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. And let's just keep pleading the blood of the Lord Jesus. And hear me, church family. It's easy to get quiet in the times of stress. You may not know this, but be aware. Holy Spirit exposes the enemy. Amen. In the times of stress, worry, in the times of idleness, it's easy to just sit in front of the TV and watch TV all day long. It's easy to just be on the phone, social media. It's easy. Holy Spirit is charging us right now as His holy church. In this season that we have just gone through, will we not make a change to become more intimate with God? Can I get an amen? Can we put things aside and say, Father, you have me. I'm all yours. I'm all ears. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that we do that. Hallelujah. I pray that we're still praying at 8 o'clock in the evening. Hallelujah. Pastor John was obedient, and I thank God for that, that we're doing that every night. Set your alarm clock. Amen. Pray with the family. Get, hold hands. Hallelujah. And just plead the blood of Jesus. Just pray and watch what God is doing. Amen. I said is because he's doing it. Amen. Listen, all this stuff, praise God, is gone just like that in Jesus' name. Amen. I think it's awesome that God wanted, do you, do you hear what I hear on this message for the 40 days that Goliath has been, you know, trying to be a bully? So say it with me, but God. Hallelujah, but God, amen? Oh, don't you love that when you could just say, but God. Hallelujah, you know why? That's you. Amen, that's me, covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit overflows, amen? Holy Spirit overflows. I love you guys. God bless you guys. I pray you join us tomorrow morning, Sunday morning worship service. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that agape is going to be a big part, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. As always, this is Holy Spirit's church. Amen. I'm just so excited as far as what the word is going to be for tomorrow morning. We love you guys. God bless you all. Oh, my goodness. I just thank God for you all every day. God bless you. Love you. Mwah. God is good all the time. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Love you.